So to those of you who watch my videos, you already know that 90% of the videos I make are focused on disposables or closed pod systems or something of that nature. Like I am a disposable user to the point where I literally can't leave my house without a disposable. Like I got one right here. I literally keep one with me at all times. But today we're doing something a little different, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna to be checking out something of the past, something that you never really see anymore. Like to the point where it is like a very, very rare Pokemon to find one of these out in the wild. This is what they used to call back in the day, a box mod. Now, you know, maybe some people do use them, but around where I live, never. It's all disposables or closed pod systems, like pre-filled pod systems. If you see somebody using one of these, you're like, whoa, this guy's stuck back in 2017. Like, I remember when I first got into vaping many years ago, like probably seven years ago now, six years ago, the box mod was the first thing that I ever used to get me off of cigarettes. And today we're bringing it back. We're going to be checking out the Anokin Cool Fire 760 with the Z slide top. I'm super excited to try one of these, man. It's been so long. So let's just get straight into the unboxing and see what we're going to get in this brand new packaging here. So this one, by the way, is the silver one, I believe. I thought silver would be the right color to use because I'm kind of wearing a gray shirt so I thought it would go with it, I don't know. But let's take a look here. Oh wow, look at that. Very pretty. So it comes with a spare glass as well. That's pretty nice, just in case you drop it. Let's see what else it comes with in the box. We also got a uh, Type-C USB. We got some coil information, that's probably important. We'll put this on the side here. Might have to come back for that later. We got a RDL drip tip, cool. We got a Z coil, this is the 0.3, 30 to 40 watt, very cool. We got a little instruction manual here. I'm already a professional, I don't need to read that. Oh, this is the instruction manual, but yeah, I'm already professional don't need that might come back to it we'll have to see if i have any problems but usually should be good and this is just a warnings and safeties i already know the risks it's bad for you that's all disposable Pfft. throw that away too we got a box mod baby now let's take a look at the battery itself this is a 2500 milliamp battery built in so you don't even need to put an external battery in that's very nice it's a very smooth looking design here. Let's see, five clicks to turn it on. Let's take a look. Oh, it didn't turn on on five clicks. What's going on here? Are we gonna have to refer to the instruction manual? I figured it out. There's an on and off switch right here. Don't even need five clicks, boom. Now, let's take a look at our tank here. And let's see. So this uh this device goes up to 60 watts. It's got that top airflow tank. Mm. The uh the coil that is pre-installed in it is a 0.6. I think 0.6 is gonna work just fine for us because the juice we're gonna be using today is going to be the Bali Blast by Exotic. My sister's actually in Bali right now, so a little ode to her. Um I want to get something, you know, I want something that's gonna hit hard. So this is an 18 milligram sub-ohm salt. To those who don't know what sub-ohm salt is, it is a mix of free base juice mixed with salt nicotine. And it really packs a punch, especially in box mods and other kind of mods that take its own e-liquid. So I'll show you guys how to fill it. It's a super simple top flow fill. All you do is stick the needle of your juice into the hole and just give it a squeeze. Now, usually when you fill up a brand new device, or sorry, just any brand new coil in general, you're gonna wanna wait at least five to 10 minutes to be safe, just because you don't wanna burn your coil right off the bat, but we don't have time to wait five to 10 minutes, or it'd already be 10 minutes into the video by the time we get it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stimulate the coil a little bit, tickle it a little bit by giving it some dry hits, which is basically just like this.
And what is that is going to do is it's going to stimulate the coil. It's going to feed some juice into the coil and it's just going to soak it right up and get it ready for us. I'm going to close the door now. It's not pointing the video, but let's see if we can uh, get a little, a little vape hot box on the car here. A good indicator that the coil is ready is when the juice, you can start to taste it. When you take the dry hit, you start to get like a little hint. I'm getting a little hint of that Bali Blast, which is like, I believe it's like a mango pineapple. And it's coming in quite nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to screw on the tank onto the mod itself. And then we're going to take a look at that. Look at that. I'm super excited to try this, guys. It has been so long since I've hit a box mod. Oh my gosh. I need to prepare myself. Let's uh, lube up the throat a little bit. <sighs> All right, we're ready to go. One hit, you guys know the rules. Let's turn the device back on so it can read the coil. And we're going to set it. What is this, a 0.6? We're going to set it to like... It's up to like 25 watts here. Actually, you know what? We're going to start off at like 20. Just to be on the safe side. And we might bring it up a little bit later on. So let's start at 20. All right. Cheers, everybody. Boop. Oh man, that is tasty. That is delicious. The airflow is really good on it. I kind of want to try the other mouthpiece though, because this mouthpiece is such a tight little mouthpiece. I want to get a, let's take a look at this one. Let's see what the other drip tip they have on here is. Oh, look at that. Look at that guys. That is what we're after. Look at the difference. We're going to throw that one in. Now this one is going to hit hard. We're going to bump it up to 25 watts with the new mouthpiece on there. So what you need to do is you got to hold it down for a second and then it will blink. And that's when you can change the wattage. We're going to put it up to 25 here. And we're going to prepare for a nice head rush. Oh, that is good. There's also an airflow thing here on the top. You can twist it to change the airflow. You see that? But we're going to keep that completely open. Wow. This is real nice, guys. I got to say, Anokin came through crazy with the, with the box mod, man. It's been a minute since I tried a box mod. It feels good. The head rush is nice. It's so nice to get that full smoke in the lungs or vapor, should I say, in the lungs. You know, when you smoke the little disposables, it feels like a little... But this one's like a... And it's nice. It's a good change up. I really do like it. I can see myself using this, actually. Now, the devices like this, I personally, I kind of hate carrying them around because they're so bulky and... You know, you put this in your pocket and it's going to be like sagging your pants, which is really annoying. So this is the kind of, this is the kind of box mod that I would put right on my desk. Boom. Lay it down on my desk. This is like, while well, I'm gaming. You know, you die in the game. You're choked. You're like, what the frick? Grab the vape. It's not so bad anymore. You're not so upset anymore. It packs a punch. I'm super happy with it. It's really good. Let's. It's at this point in the video where I'm going to take a big sip of water because, ow, first of all. And second of all, we got to do the community hit, everybody. So if you guys are watching to this point, um, I really want you guys to participate in the community hit with me. I want to know if you're participating in the community hit with me as well. So make sure to comment 950 because that's the timestamp we're at in the video right now. So if you guys are participating in the community hit, don't forget to comment 950. And let me know in the comment section down below 
if you've ever had a box mod yes or no and if you did what kind was it do you remember my first box mod i ever had i don't remember the name but it was like this i think it was a segeli actually now that i think about it, it was a segeli i don't know it was like a 200 watt it took two different batteries i had like a little rda on there i used to build my own coils i used to love it i thought it was so fun but yeah let me know what you guys had and let's take this community rip cheers everybody Boop. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a thumbs up. That's how I know you guys liked it. And if you guys are new to the channel or you haven't yet, make sure to hit that sub button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a single notification when I upload. Um, comment section, you guys already know what to do. If you're participating in the community hit, comment 950. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'm um, going to be posting this on Saturday, so I also hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. And yeah, peace.